Let's look at another triple integral where we need to change the order of integration. We start out with dz dy dx and we're asked to change to dz dx dy. So in this case, we only need to worry about interchanging the x and the y integrals. So what we have to do first, at least to be able to analyze what's going on, is to write down what the given integral says. So for the x, we see that we run from 0 to 2. For the y, we see that we run from 0 to the square root of 4 minus x squared. And for the z, we see that we run from 0 to 4 minus x minus y, as we have here. And we need to switch these two. Now first, we see that x runs from 0 to 2. So the most that the y can be would just be the square root of 4. So by observation, we have that y will run from 0 to 2. That's fairly straightforward. And then we need to focus on this particular inequality. What we're going to do is apply the square function. Uh, for this particular interval, the square function is increasing, so it will preserve the inequality. So we'll get a y squared is less than 4 minus x squared. Then we interchange the x squared and the y squared, and we get x squared is less than or equal to 4 minus y squared. Now, we apply the square root function since we need to solve for x, and again, the square root function on this particular interval is increasing, so it preserves the inequality. So we get 0 is less than or equal to the principal square root of x squared less than or equal to the square root of 4 minus y squared. But of course, by definition, the square root of x squared is the absolute value of x. And so that would think, at least remind you of a uh, conjunction, that is a compound inequality. But first off, we have to remember that x is greater than or equal to zero. So we're not gonna need a negative radical over here. That would, that would go outside of the bounds of where x lives. So we have a left bound of zero, and then of course we have a right bound of the square root of four minus y squared. So now our new representation, and I just called this a solid Q, is now y running from zero to two, x running from zero to the square root of four minus y squared, and of course z the same as it was initially from zero to four minus x minus y. And so when you write your, your triple integral, again, the dz is the same, but now the dy is the last integral and the dx is the middle integral, and we are done.